Welcome to the Photoshop Tools course, an in-depth exploration about all of Photoshop's tools. My name is Chad Newman, and I'd like to welcome you to the course. So how will this course benefit you as a student? First of all, you can learn retouching tools to edit and improve your own photos to share on social media, for example. Or maybe you just want to edit photos of your friends or even edit photos for clients. Another example of how this course will benefit you is that you'll be able to make effective selections. We go over all the selection techniques. So you'll be able to use those techniques as a foundation to create composite images, digital art, and other graphic designs. You'll also be able to explore your creativity using brushing tools and techniques. And finally, you'll also learn practical applications of Photoshop, like quickly and easily resizing, brightening, sharpening images. Before we get started, you might be wondering why am I qualified to teach this course on Photoshop? Well, I've used Photoshop as internet development director at an award-winning advertising design firm, as webmasters at newspapers and a library system, I was also managing editor of two graphic design magazines, and I've used Photoshop as a freelancer. That's actually me at Photoshop World running the Illustrator Brief years ago. I've also taught Photoshop at three universities in classes such as photography, digital layout and design, web page design, and advanced digital imaging. So now let's go over how to use and customize the tools panel, and then we'll go over a few quick previews of helpful techniques. Throughout these lectures, if you ever cannot find the tools panel, you can just go to window and then tools and it will bring it up. Also make sure you have options checked because that's going to give you different options depending on which tool you have selected. In the tools panel, it'll change up here. You can also customize the tools panel. If you click this little arrow here, it will make it just a single column. If you click it again, it will make it a double column. It has the same tools, it's just personal preference. So throughout these lectures, we're gonna be going through some really amazing things you can do with the tools panel, the various tools. We'll be going over all the selection tools, for example, how do you crop something for a different composition? How do you use something like the eyedropper tool to pull hues out of a photo for a design? How do you use different things like the clone stamp tool, for example? If you want to hold down Alt or Option on the Mac, Alt on the PC, click somewhere and create another flower here pretty quickly. You can do that. So there's really amazing things you can do in Photoshop, whether you're retouching a photo or creating some kind of graphic design using a lot of these different tools. Now, if you want to sharpen a photo, if you think it's just slightly blurred, not quite tack sharp, many different ways you can do that. But as far as the tools panel goes, you can use the sharpen tool, click and drag and just sharpen up a portrait, for example. If one is a little bit too sharpened or you got a little bit of grain like this photo does if you're ISO, or film speed was too high in your camera, you can use something like the blur tool. You don't want to blur too much, but you can blur this a little bit, get rid of that grain, makes it a much better photo, I think. So there's so much you can do with these tools. We'll be going over all of them. If you see a little arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the tool on the tools panel, click and hold on to it, and you'll see a bunch more options. So that just means there's more tools hiding under that subset. Whenever we're doing something like the brush tool, there's the foreground color, the background color, down here on the bottom of the tools panel. We'll be going over that. You can set it to the default right here and you can also flip them by clicking there. And one more tip, if you click and hold on the bottom of the tools panel and there's standard screen mode, full screen mode with the menu bar and then full screen mode, notice that there's a shortcut, the F, and a lot of these, if you click and hold, they will show the shortcut on the keyboard. It'll speed up your workflow if you learn a lot of those keyboard shortcuts. But what that does is, if I click it, it just changes. You can't see really all of it here on the screen, but it just changes it to full screen mode with the menu bar. Full screen mode, and it comes up with this unless you click don't show again. Hey, you're just going to be in full screen mode. You can hit escape or F to exit out of it. But that's basically if you're doing digital painting or you just wanted to only see your photo on the screen and you don't see, for example, your menu up here or your tools panel. A shortcut, you just press F on the keyboard and it'll cycle through those. You can also press tab and that will get rid of the panels, for example, bring it back to the default. So let's get started. In the next lesson, I'm going to be going over a couple keyboard shortcuts. Then there's a printable handout available, a downloadable handout about all the shortcuts. Then you'll download the support files and we'll start learning and designing and retouching and creating in Photoshop using the various tools.